Hey, how's it going? And in this video, I just want to share a little bit about a marketing mindset um, kind of idea and thought process that I really like to go through. Um, I th think a lot of people, when it comes to marketing, this is something that a lot of people don't think about, which is the mindset that they should have when they're going in to actually marketing a ton of their stuff and trying to grow their business because it's definitely not easy. It can be tough and it's not all the time a pretty process as some people would believe to see um, or believe to think that it would be. So what I wanna do in this video is just share kind of the mindset that I have seen to work really, really well with other people out there and how you can benefit from it if you're trying to grow your business using paid marketing, organic marketing, so on and so forth. So I think the first thing, and it really breaks down and I'm just gonna use some chicken scratch handwriting here, so it's not gonna be perfect. So let me break it down for you really quickly. So I'm gonna start with these three kind of buckets here. Got bucket one. And that first bucket is going to be coming down to lead quality. And like I said, these three buckets are somewhat the three circumstances that you're gonna have and the mindset that you need to have to make sure that your marketing is actually gonna work. And there's a couple of extra things. I won't talk about them in this video per se, um, but I will film more in the future to kind of show what everything looks like and what it all is about. All right, so three things here. First one is lead quality. With lead quality, I think a lot of people love to think that all the leads that they're gonna get in their world are top-notch, ready-to-buy leads. That is definitely not always the case. With lead quality, there's a really important mindset that I'd recommend you to have if you're driving leads, whether that is organically or whether that is through paid traffic, and it's that the leads are gonna fall into three different categories. You're gonna have lead num lead A, right? Your A tier lead, and that's a lead that's ready to go right now. They know their problem, they know what solution they need, they've been looking and they know that they need help, right? That's your A lead, they're ready to go, they know that they need help and that they're, they're just perfect, right? We wish we get all those leads. Then you've got the B level lead, the B grade lead. That's a lead that they're not necessarily ready to go right away, but they will be in the future. They're ready to buy later. That's a lead that maybe knows they're, they know they have a problem, but they don't know what the solution necessarily is. And maybe they've just started to look. Then you've got your C, um, grade lead, which is the lead that just is never going to be ready to buy. They may be a good person. They may be great to talk to. Maybe they're horrible people. Maybe they're not great to talk to at all. But this is the lead that is never going to be ready to buy. And that's okay. You need to get all three of these leads in order to grow your business. Do not neglect either one of them because they all serve a really great purpose. And this is where the mindset part comes in is that I've had a lot of people when they start to get these C quality leads or maybe even these B ones that they start to doubt the process, whether that's on paid ads or whether that's on organic, they just start to doubt the process and they get really, really doubtful that they're even going to get a good person. The reason why is just because once again, if you're trying to, you know, put food on the table and you're trying to do stuff, you want those A quality leads. But the truth is it's never going to happen where hundred percent or even 90% are A quality leads. And the important mindset trick around this is to realize that that's actually good. You need these C quality leads so you can see where to improve and you can see how to get more of these A quality leads. You would never know what an A quality one is without a C one. So this is a problem, like I said, that I see so many people have is that right when they start a campaign or right when they start doing outreach that they get these really, really bad leads and they start to stress out, they start to worry. And that's totally normal. It's the human in all of us. But I think what's really important to realize is that it is okay to get those C quality leads because without that, you're not gonna be able to improve your process. That's the first trick. Next one is going through and talking about volume. It is super important to always have your pipeline really, really filled up. Um, like one of my mentors, Sharon Shravatsa mentions and says, the person with the biggest pipeline is gonna win. I think he got that from someone else. Maybe he didn't, but I heard it from him and Sharon is awesome. And it's so true. The person with the biggest pipeline is going to win. Now, even if you have 100% of people in your pipeline that are C quality, that's not a great thing, but you're probably gonna do better unless you had zero, right? And it, most of the times you will never have a pipeline that is all C quality people, right? So like, let's say, let's just kind of mark these with colors. Let's say a C quality person is red. Let's say a B quality person is blue. And let's say 
and a quality lead is is there this is kind of what your pipeline is going to look like you're going to have this chunk of people that's an a quality lead you're going to have this bigger chunk of people where there's a b quality lead right and then you're finally going to have this last chunk of people where there's a c quality lead you're going to have your pipeline that looks like this and that's totally okay All right you're gonna have a couple people in here you're gonna have you know a bulk of your people are going to be b they need to be educated um, they need to be taught they need to be built that know like and trust factor so you can actually help them right and this is super important once again because the person that has the biggest pipeline that encompasses all three of these sections is going to be the business owner that's going to win having a big pipeline is going to help you regardless of the quality and in, inside and you can always work on refining that quality later 90 percent of the time as a business owner when you're making less than seven figures a year, your focus should be built on building, or your focus should be on building your pipeline. Building your pipeline, sending out content to them, building value, and giving them call to actions. And that gives me to my last point, is that you wanna be doing all of those things consistently, right? You want to be building value, you wanna be building your pipeline, and you wanna be nurturing those people on a consistent basis. Because that's what's gonna build that no like, and trust factor. And that's really where that consistency actually comes from, right? So when you are consistent, the outcome of being consistent is having a group of people that know, like, and trust you. And that's super important to have that in place. With all this being said, kind of wrapping it up into the whole mindset um, idea that I wanted to share with you today is that a lot of people um, and a lot of business owners that I work with really start to... They run an ad strategy, they have a marketing process, and it's working, right? They're getting a good return on ad spend. But then something will happen where maybe their back end of their business isn't meeting the front end. And that can get really frustrating because maybe overall as a business, you're not doing what you want, but the one part is crushing it, right? So let's say your marketing strategy is crushing it, but the delivery isn't there, right? And then business owners will get in their head. They will find any reason to turn off the marketing, whether you're paying for it, whether you're not paying for it. They will think it's anything but that. They will think it's their brand. They will think it's the content they're putting out there. They may even think it's the messaging. But the truth is, if you have a product that you've sold to a product or service that you've sold to more than three people and they've given you great testimonials, a lot of the time it's about doing these three things consistently. I mean, consistency is one of the three. And putting the mindset to the side and realizing that it is a process and that you're not going to make a million dollars right when you employ, deploy. A great marketing strategy. In fact, it's actually going to take some time to build up. But if you spent all last year saying you'd build it up and now you're back here this year and you haven't done anything, at least next year, say that you've spent ten thousand dollars and you've you know you've spent ten grand and not gotten anything in return, you're gonna be in a much better position versus if you didn't spend any money or you didn't spend any time and you didn't get anything out of it. Me personally. After I started running my own ads, and, and we run a marketing company, so we run a ton of people's ads, I started running ads for my own business around mid last year. I didn't make money quickly, and I know this stuff inside and out. I've been running ads for people for years and generated tens of millions of dollars in returns for people. But even for myself, I understand it's a process and that I'm gonna lose, lose a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars to learn what I actually need to be doing to refine it and then make a ton of money from it. So you got to be willing to lose a little bit to make a lot. That's how everything is in the world, right? Is that anything that is worthwhile is going to take a little bit of cost. It's going to be, it's going to cost you something, right? So that's a big mindset thing. And then finally with this is um, with marketing and with paying for ads online and with having a marketing strategy, whether it's organic or whether um, it is a paid strategy, having these three things in place are really gonna help you find success. Understand the lead quality that you're gonna get A, B, C grade leads, and then know where to put them, right? So the C grades go here, the B grade go to this application, the A grade get a call to action. Always make sure you got a big pipeline. If you do not have a big pipeline, you are setting yourself up for failure, and then make sure you're consistently delivering value and building know, like, and trust with the people in your pipeline. And this is really the trifecta of what you should have in place for your company is you know, understand and sorting your lead quality, having the volume and being consistent with everything there. So if you want me to delve deeper into this stuff, I would love for you to let me know, drop a reaction, like, comment, um, if you want more of this stuff. If you enjoy this kind of content, 
um, let me know, like, and subscribe, and I will be bringing a lot more of this to you this year. I wanna really share what has gone into growing a successful seven-figure business and the journey of growing it to an even bigger multi-seven-figure business this year. I'm really excited for that, and I wanna share everything with you guys, um, and I hope you enjoy it. There's nothing else attached to this, just I wanna share this and hope that someone else can benefit. So let me know if you have any questions, please drop them below, I would love to help. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one.